so to settle in we're rather flustered there at the pit stop expecting him maybe a lap or so later only to have him arrive in the pits but uh, Peter Jansen trying to keep his great Bathurst finishing record intact Peter Jansen lists his occupation as gentleman previous occupations never had one before <laughs> He's quite a character, is Peter Jansen. He's, uh, he goes back quite a, a long way with a, a racing career that uh, has been... Oh, no. Oh, the car's after, gone. After passing the car, and it's spun at the top of the mountain, coming down, just clips the wall. That is not a good place to be if anyone uh, was travelling very, very close to him at the time. So Peter Jansen has taken over from David Parsons, has lasted only half a lap, and the car has, we believe, blown a motor, and is out. Fire marshals quickly on the scene, chopper overhead to get the picture for you. Parked in a most dangerous spot again, at the top of the mountain, down towards uh, Forest Elbow. And the car expires in a spectacular way. David, how does it feel to see that sort of scene? Not real good, but... Uh, nothing you can do about it. It's just one of those things, you know, when it happens, it happens. But... The message we get from the top of the mountain is he's bringing the car back down here. Well, that's really great. That's good. Right. But anyhow, um, it's just one of those things uh, that happens with motor racing and can't do much more than that. Okay, we'll leave you to it and we'll see whether or not Peter Jansen can bring his car down. The crew are certainly getting ready. They're, you can see them all buoyed up. They were crushed for a moment. Now there's confidence and expectation of whether or not the merry captain can get down here is a big problem. Jansen's back into the pit area and the crew are very quickly around the car. Let's go down to Evan Green. Well, you got the car down, Peter. What happened? The engine blew, <laughs> the engine just blew to smithereens. I tell you what, it's quite exciting having a little spit up the top there. You almost controlled it beautifully. In uh, fact, you did your best. It was a marvellous bit of carmanship too. Thank you very much. Uh, only just not the fence like this. Oh, well. These are the things that happen. We've had a good run. You couldn't wish for better. How many years have you finished here with in such high places now? In a oh, row? about six or seven years. Yeah. Um, never out of the top five. You know, you've got to give somebody else a go. But I think it's time I had a nice little jambi whiskey with a little bit of Schweppes in it and a cherry ripe and all the rest. You must, uh, you must be feeling proud the way that young David Parsons has been going. I tell you what, he's the best boy on the mountain, I reckon. Coming on, there's no one that can touch him. The car's four years old, it's the fourth time at Bathurst, and he got it on third row, third passes in the Hardy Heroes, and we've had a good run today, it's gone like a clockwork, we had a blowout on the 15th lap, but that was nothing. You look remarkably happy for a man who's just lost all chance and probably cost you an awful lot of money. Uh, I don't think that, you know, it is a sport, Evan, and if you look at it any other way, you know, you blow your brains out. 